Hi, and welcome to another episode on Soft Warrior. Today we're going to be talking about PC security. And most, and most specifically, I am going to list 10 tips and actions you must implement right now if you want to keep your computer protected from hackers and viruses. So without further delay, let's get started. Nowadays, PC security is becoming more and more important considering the amount of new malware created every year. As the time goes, digital payments, healthcare, personal data and other important aspects of our lives are getting tightly bound with computers and the internet. You may put yourself in cyber danger and sometimes into a real danger if you don't follow the must-have tips for PC security. Let's begin with tip number one. No matter which operating system you are using, remember to always keep it up to date. Whether you are using Windows or Mac OS, make sure automatic updates are not disabled and are performed on a regular basis. Quite often, OS updates come with security breach patches that are essential for your computer's security. Tip number two, use strong passwords and use them at all times. It would be pity if someone could access your computer by just entering a simple password combination, using the brute force attack by just trying multiple password combinations. It is not recommended using the same password for different accounts, especially for the internet banking. In this case, you are risking of compromising multiple aspects of your personal and financial data. At times, it becomes hard to remember multiple strong passwords. There's one method that could help you. Just create your unique pattern and use it for creating a strong password. This might be a pattern based on the name of a website that you are creating a password for, plus some other piece of data that only you know. Be creative. In case you want to simplify the process, you can actually use one password for everything, so-called master password. There is a software called Password Manager or Password Keeper available for that. Check the link in the description for the best password manager software. Tip number three. Make sure your antivirus is up to date and make sure you are using one of the best paid antiviruses. Sometimes free antivirus might be enough in case you are not using your computer for internet purchases or the online banking. Otherwise, good antivirus is a must-have requirement for your PC security. Check the link in the description down below to find out which antivirus is best for you. Tip number four. Never store important passwords and credit card PIN codes on your computer. If you want to store your passwords in a safe place, get back to tip number two and consider using a password manager. Tip number five. Keep the Java and Flash player up to date. By the way, it is highly recommended to not use Flash player at all, as it brings serious security vulnerability and it is no longer supported. Tip number six. Back up your important data. Sometimes the steps above might, might fail in case you are exposed to a brand new threat. In that case, data backup is your salvation. In case of becoming a victim of a ransomware attack, for example, WannaCry ransomware or something else, your personal data might get encrypted, or even worse, it can be completely erased by such a malicious software. You will be grateful to that day when you've started using a backup services. The most simple one to use is Google Drive. They give you about 15 gigabytes of storage for free. And in case it's not enough, they also offer cheap price storage extension. If you check the link in the description of this video, you will find links to some other alternatives with various price and plans. Tip number seven, consider using VPN. Do you have a laptop? Do you often bring it with you and have to use public Wi-Fi hotspots on a regular basis? 
If that is so, you are putting your computer's security into risk, no matter which OS you are using, be it Windows or a Mac OS. You are in danger of someone is going to hack your computer and steal your data using a public Wi-Fi hotspot you are connected to. VPN provider, combined with a good firewall, is a must-have action to take. VPN would make sure that all the data you transfer is fully encrypted, and the firewall would defend you against unauthorized connections. Check the link in the description of this video to find more about the VPN and the firewall. Tip number 8. It makes a lot of sense to encrypt your SSD or a hard drive. In case someone gets access to your storage device, they would not be able to read any data, in case it is encrypted. You can use standard operating systems feature to encrypt your disk. This feature is available for both Mac OS and Windows out of the box. Tip number 9. Be extremely cautious when visiting the websites. Use only trusted websites that have HTTPS in the browser's address field and a lock icon. Be aware of phishing websites. Sometimes you might get an email or a message in a social media network containing a clickbait text. Next thing you do is you click a link in that message and now you see the enter your credentials page of your favorite social media platform, email service, or even an internet banking sign-in page. Now, if you continue, you are about to expose your important credentials to a hacker. They have created a fake website that looks exactly the same as the original one, and now they want you to type in your credentials, and after you do this, they have access to whatever they want. As a side note, using a good antivirus would prevent you from accessing a phishing website. Check the link in the description for a list of the best antivirus software. And the last tip, tip number 10. PC security topic is huge and it is impossible to cover it in full within one video only. To get more in-depth understanding of what needs to be done to make sure your computer is protected against the attackers, I have prepared a free ebook for you. You can download it from the link in the, in the description down below. This ebook covers additional tips and steps for protecting your computer that are not covered in this video. As usual, I hope those tips that I've just listed really helped you and you found them useful. If that is so, I'd be more than grateful for liking this video. I am preparing the updated list of the PC security advices right now, so I suggest you subscribing to my channel to make sure you get these tips right when they are published here on Soft Warrior. Thanks for watching.